Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In this video, we are going to start with the Verilog code development of APB Master and APB Slave. Let's start for the development of APB Master Verilog code. And for that particular thing, we are going to follow this state diagram. Now, initially, whenever you apply your reset signal, you are, be, you are going to be in your idle state. And after the idle state, if your transfer is equal to one, then you are going to a state which is known as setup phase and from the setup phase you are simply going to access phase and from your access phase if your period e is equal to 1 you are going to idle phase whereas if your period e is equal to 0 you are going to stay in the access phase and if your period e is equal to 1 you are going to setup phase this we are going to implement in our Verilog code let us see how to develop this so let me declare a module first module apb underscore master so what are the inputs of our master are input clock and we have input p reset n or we will simply write reset underscore n it's an active low reset and we have input transfer signal so this transfer signal using this transfer signal we are going to judge whether should we go to the next state or should we go uh, remain in the present state and we have 32 bit address 31 down to 0 addr and we have w data input 31 down to 0 w data so this data is given from our our test bench this particular data is given by the test bench and we have input write so this is also given by our test bench only and we have output reg p select x and uh, output reg p enable and uh, output reg 31 down to 0 p address and output reg 31 down to 0 pw data and uh, output reg p write and uh, output reg p ready so these are the inputs and outputs of our particular master clock reset transfer address w data write are our inputs p select x p enable p address p w data p write and p ready are our outputs let us declare some parameters for fsm parameter idle is equal to two tick binary zero zero and parameter setup is equal to two tick binary zero one and parameter access is equal to two tick binary one zero so these are some uh, three states i am going to take idle phase setup phase and access phase and let me declare two variables reg one down to zero current underscore state and uh, next underscore state now within an always at the rate passage of clock i am going to write down the present state logic or neg gauge of reset underscore n if i apply my reset signal reset underscore n then my current underscore state is equal to idle else my current underscore state is equal to next underscore state followed by n always say the rate begin and followed by n so this is my present state logic which I have written and let us write down our next state logic. So how to write down our next state logic always at the rate star next state logic is a combination logic which we are going to write down begin case of present underscore sorry current underscore state if we are in idle state then begin if I apply my transfer is equal to 1 then my next underscore state is setup phase else my next underscore state is the same state that is idle state so i'm basically following the 
uh, FSM which I have shown you previously. This FSM I am following. So if my transfer is equal to 1, I should go to setup phase. And if my transfer is equal to 0, I am going to stay in the idle phase only. And followed by end. So this is my idle phase. Now, next I have setup phase. Setup begin. So in the setup phase, there is no such condition. We are simply going to access phase. So next underscore state is equal to access space and followed by end. So this is my setup to access phase transition. And now in the access phase, begin. So if my P ready is equal to one, if my P ready is equal to one, so P ready is uh, P ready should be an input signal. It's not an output. It's an input signal. So if your P ready is equal to one, then you are basically checking for your transfer. If transfer is equal to one, then my next underscore state is equal to setup phase. Else my next underscore state is equal to idle and if p ready is not equal to 1 then my next underscore state is equal to access space only so the same fsm i've tried to implement and followed by end so this is my uh, logic which i've written and followed by default statement next underscore state is equal to idle so this is what i have written here now let us write down the output logic fsm output logic so always at uh, passage of clock or neckage of reset underscore in so what are we going to do here is we are first of all going to check for the reset signal not of reset underscore n and let me end this end case so here let us write down if not of reset in then begin my p select signal p select x will be made to 0 and uh, my p enable signal will also be made to 0 and my p address will be made to 0 and my p w data will also be equal to 0 and p write will be equal to 0 okay and followed by end <coughs> else begin case of my next underscore state so i'm going to consider my next state if my next state is equal to idle then begin p select signal will be made to 0 and uh, my p enable signal will also be made to 0. So in the idle phase, if you can see in the FSM also, your p select will be equal to 0 and p enable is also equal to 0 in the case of idle state. That's why I've written that and followed by end. Now, next we are going to have a phase which is known as setup phase. So in the setup phase, let me begin this. My p select x will be made to 1 and my p enable e will be 0 itself and p address will be assigned to address the top address which the test bench user is giving and pw data will be assigned to the top address which the test bench user is providing and p write will also be assigned to the top address which the test bench user is being providing and followed by end so here you can see in the FSM also, in the setup phase, your P select will be made to 1 and P enable will be made to 0. And in the setup phase, basically it is nothing but your address space where your address should be given and data should be given and all the control should be control signals should be asserted. So that is what we are basically doing. All the control signals are given by your test bench user. P write signal, P address signal are given by your test bench user. That particular signals we are assigning to it. Now, next is we have our access phase. So in the access space, we are going to write down p select is equal to 1 
and p enable is equal to 1 and followed by end so we can see in the diagram also in the access phase your p select is equal to 1 and p enable is equal to 1 and followed by end this and end case so this is how i am going to develop my apb master now let us try to write down the apb slave and in the test bench only we are going to treat it as an apb slave and we will we are going to develop that particular code so let me declare module apb underscore tb underscore slave and we will declare reg clock reset underscore n as registers and wire p select x p enable 31 down to 0 p address and we have pw data wire 31 down to 0 pw data and we have p write and p ready so these are my outputs which i have declared as wire data type and uh, let me declare some more signals i have transfer signal rich transfer and this is the top address which we are giving from the test bench and this is the top data which we are giving from the test bench and uh, we have write signal control signal for controlling whether to perform a write operation or read operation now let us instantiate our master apb underscore slave sorry apb underscore master design under test clock comma reset underscore n comma transfer address let me check what are the other signals w data and we have write signal p select x p enable p address p w data p write p ready so these are my inputs and outputs of my uh, i've instantiated my design now now let us um, initialize this variables so initial begin clock comma reset and okay reset is active low right clock comma transfer address w data right is equal to zero i've initialized my signals now i will generate my clock always hash phi clock is equal to not of clock i've generated my clock so within an initial beginning block i'm first going to apply my reset signal it's active low reset signal reset is equal to zero transfer is equal to zero and address is also equal to zero and w data is also equal to zero okay i've already instantiated uh, initialized no need to write it down again everything is and uh, let us write down write is equal to one and p ready is equal to zero okay and after 20 nanosecond or 20 and after 20 nanosecond what we are going to do is we are going to apply our reset remove our reset signal next let us initiate a transfer so at passage of my transfer is equal to 1 my address let's say it is 32 bit h a b c d underscore 1 2 3 4 is my address and my data some random data i am giving and my write signal is also made to 1 write is equal to 1 and at uh, passage of clock transfer is made to 0 so we will wait for 3 cycles uh, so that we can have access space so let's say repeat of 3 at uh, passage of clock p ready is equal to 1 so here we are going to make our p ready is equal to 1 and at ne next negage of clock we will make our p ready signal to 0 and followed by dollar finish let's say after some 50 cycles we will after some 50 time minutes we will make our dollar finish and followed by end and end module so this is my test bench code for my apb slip let me check 
I haven't declared P ready. Okay, basically P ready is it's a rich. Yeah. So let me save this master and slave. And let me run the simulation. So let's check our simulation result. What are we getting? So this is my clock signal and I have applied my reset signal. So our design will be set to reset and your P address will be equal to zero. PW data, P write, P ready, transfer, address, everything is made to zero. Now, if my reset is remote, then I'm providing my address underscore top here. I'm providing my address and I also am providing my write data and transfer was made to one. So transfer is made to one. Then what should happen? You should go to setup phase and select your P select. So where is this P select here? You are selecting a particular slave and you are providing P address, PW data and P write signal is also made to one and P ready is still equal to zero. And what are we doing from the setup phase? We are simply going to access phase and in access phase, your P enable will made to be equal to one. So here we have entered our access phase and from this phase, we are waiting for our P ready signal to be asserted. So here our P ready signal is asserted. So we are simply going to idle phase. So this is how and your transfer is also equal to zero. So no, no new data has been given and only the previous data is being hold. So this is how we are going to write down the test bench for our design and test bench and we are going to verify our APB master. That's all about this particular session. So that's all about this particular session. And with this, we have completed our APB master development and APB slave development. And so with this, we have completed our APB master and APB slave wedlock code development. And that's all about this particular session and the playlist where we have learned about APB theory. And next we have seen how to implement the things. That's all about this particular video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel all about VLSA. Thank you for watching this video.